All right, as usual, we're doubling up on anger and annoyance, going straight from mildly infuriating to a-hole design. Starting off with number 19, mm, no, number 20, because that's satire. We want some real a-hole design. Toy Story 4 1001 stickers, where at least 750 are just tiny squares. <laughs> with the, it's a, a nice touch as to how you're holding up the uh, tiny squares. Yeah, actually, did you know that the negative space in between the stickers of the characters themselves. That counts as stickers too, you know, where the stencil cuts and there's just empty area. There's still, you can peel them off and you can stick them on things so they're actually stickers. So it, it counts. I bet you if you reported that to Disney, Disney would actually not like that. So maybe they're not aware because Disney's like really protective of their brand image and their IP. So if they knew somebody was like marketing it that exact way, maybe it slipped by their approval or something they probably wouldn't be super down on somebody claiming that the negative space in between the characters is stickers. But anyway, moving right along, predatory a-holes. The phone on the left has a lower battery than the phone on the right. Bolt, Uber, etc. raise their prices relative to your battery level? Yes, they can do that and they do. How can this be explained? Same location, same destination, same account, different phones, different prices. I've never heard of Bolt, but maybe it's like Uber, but in a different country, and that's, yeah, I, I don't know what currency that is, so probably different country. What? They really? So if your battery level is really low because they know it's urgent? Allegedly. Allegedly. This would probably be denied by a spokesperson for any of said companies, but allegedly? Really? That would be, I don't want to say anything like they do that. But if they did do that, that would be pretty shady stuff. Why are just satire everywhere this month? I want more anger. Anger me more. Sat, we'll click it anyway. We need to make a mobile ad. How? Gameplay, gameplay. Pretend we suck at the game and the caption will be only 1%. 0.1% can beat this. Employee of the month. <laughs> I mean, that's um only a common YouTube title trope. That I might have used it at one point in my life of saying X percent can do such and such. Only only one percent can spot what's wrong here. Sorry, uh, but if it works, it works, right? Possibly Hanlon's razor. My school has vending machines with candy that cost a dollar fifty cents. They conveniently leave off the one, so it looks like it costs fifty cents. Huh. Yeah, wait, that, that that doesn't seem like it's allowed. If that is a credit card vending machine, which I don't know, have schools now moved over to vending machines that accept credit cards? Because they didn't have those when I was in high school. But maybe in the last 10 years they've evolved and now they accept credit cards. Uh, but it was all cash. So you would put in your 50 cents and then you'd select the thing and it'd be like, oh, actually it requires $1.50. And then you'd be like, cool, thanks for wasting my time. And you'd have to just get your money back because you'd be like, I'm not paying a dollar and fifty cents. But also, fifty cents seems too good to be true because nothing in this world is fifty cents anymore for a for a bar or candy. So you look at it and it just gives you hope. You're like nostalgic. Is this actually the year that we're in? It's 2019, almost 2020, and I can get it for fifty cents. No, no, I'm gonna rip your heart out in two seconds. Satire. I hate this. Thirty day free trial. Enter your debit card details. <laughs> I mean, that's the only reason why 30-day free trials exist, though. There would be no reason to do a 30-day free trial if it didn't auto-renew into continuing the trial. Otherwise, it would not be worth the company's time to do that, right? So I'm sure there is some company out there that does a 30-day free trial and you don't even have to enter your credit card information. And I guarantee you, that it doesn't translate into many people actually signing up for the service and they probably stopped doing it because they're like, we're going to be better than all these other companies. They require you to enter the details and then they do it and they're like, I can see why those other companies, uh, they, they force people to enter their credit card information before the 30 day trial. Yeah, no, we get it now. We thought we could rise above. No, we couldn't. We can't. We're going to we're going to have to either shut our business or uh, change that strategy real quickly. Paying $20 for a repack of cards and this is all you get. Also, possibly Hanlon's razor could be a mistake. Come on, Pokémon. What what is this? Maybe if they advertised it as the pack and a container for other cards it would have been better. Oh. 
So it's supposed to be new cards and also a container that you get. Like you get to pull out the center thing and it's a card holder. Also, it makes the box that's completely concealed look a lot bigger than it actually is for the sake of new Pokemon cards. One of the blocks isn't one of the blocks. Uh, wait, what? Is it, wait, is it a, it's just cardboard? Oh, I see it's, it's packaging. I mean, they are called soft blocks, so it would be misleading advertising if one of the blocks wasn't quite soft, so soft that in fact it's just full of air and is cardboard. They, they wanna make sure to cover all their bases. This is obviously aimed at little kids and YouTube's experienced some issues with the whole Copa thing recently. So these guys, they really wanna make sure they cover all their bases by calling it soft blocks if those other ones aren't actually soft and they're in fact hard plastic, at least one of the blocks needs to be soft. Possibly satire. Here we go again with more satire. The colorblind test, comment what you see. If you can see red, then you have strong eyesight. If you can see green, then your eyesight is perfect. If you see purple, then you may be colorblind. Click the link in my bio to find out if you are. I mean, I don't know if satire is the right word so much as just a blatant attempt at getting clicks, or maybe it is actually meant to be a parody of, of people doing blatantly obvious things to get clicks, but they're doing it seriously, and maybe this is being used ironically, but I can't really tell. Either way, um, I am apparently colorblind, and uh, guess I need to click the link in their bio to find out more so I can learn how to live with this. You should know the minimum score you can give on booking.com is 2.5 stars, not zero or one as expected. Your ratings will impact the review score. Your review score, 2.5 when everything was no bueno. You must have had a really bad experience. Dang, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> God, imagine coming back from a vacation and that's your review for literally every component there. Like how many things have to go wrong for that to be your review? Unless your name is Karen, in which case I, I guess someone might've looked at you wrong and then it's like zero stars for you. What? I only get to give 2.5? Maybe it exists actually to protect businesses from Karen. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the Karen pad, okay? Just in case, just in case we're not gonna absolutely pummel your business's reputation to submission, we give you at least a little bit of cushioning just in case. I hate my math lab so much. Possibly Hanlon's razor. Sorry, that's not correct. Correct answer is, uh, yeah, you, you used a kind of like a proper fraction, okay? Um, but we actually wanted you to use improper fractions, so, yeah, I actually, mm, so, hmm, yeah, I'm trying to think of how it would get that wrong, maybe it just doesn't understand the syntax of the way that you wrote it, oh, wait, no, 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 that it, no, no, see, that's what's happening there, actually, y you did two, it's like two plus one half, but you did two times one half is the way it was reading into that, which means it's Y plus one rather than Y plus two and a half. So that's actually what, what happened there. So it doesn't understand that syntax. It thinks adjacent numbers are multiplied, not, yeah, that's. So actually you're, yeah, technically you were wrong. Technically you were wrong. I get what you meant, but the program isn't actually wrong because it reads it as multiplication. Bad unsubscribe function. I noticed I continue to get emails after unsubscribing. The fact that this is even an option made me realize they probably don't unsubscribe you. Why do you want to be removed? I, I previously unsubscribed. Ugh, this is so applicable though. The amount of times that I unsubscribe from something and they're like, oh, we'll take up to 10 days to update our database. Go fork yourself. The listing showed $93 per night. Oh, I'm gonna assume what happens here is there's also a resort fee, city tax. It's gonna end up being more than double that once you include everything. Yep, no, of course. It's more than, I got him. I'm so good. I'm so good. How do they know, dude? It's because I booked a hotel before where the base rate is always like, this is extreme. It usually never doubles, but I don't know. It feels like whatever the base rate is that's listed when you select the room on the room selection screen, it always ends up being like 30% more per night once they include all the extra fees and taxes that go on top of that. So yeah, it's always fun. Cleaning fee, $80. What? You didn't know that you 
booked Spirit Hotels. The Spirit Airlines, they charge you for like every little thing. Ask for a water one, so like that was, that's gonna be $4, sir. I'm like, I guess I'll dehydrate. Thanks. Making you buy a Coca-Cola product by hiding the water. Hmm. This is one of the Coke Freestyle machines, right? Wait, what? It actually is a button for water over there? I don't know, I've used the Coke Freestyle machines before, and usually the water selection option is like pretty clear. So maybe they did a software update and messed up or something like that. Unless they made a software update to try to not get you to choose water. But actually, at the end of the day, usually a Coke Freestyle machine, you've already purchased your soft drink at the register and you just have a cup that you're gonna go fill because you're just dispensing the liquid. So it's actually cheaper for them to serve water and not include any syrup by a marginal amount, but still, water is cheaper than including something else with the water. So uh, it doesn't actually make sense from a business standpoint to encourage you or discourage you from getting water. Um, yeah, hmm, I don't know, could just be a bug. Apple using different wallpapers to try to make us believe the Pro and Pro Max has no notch compared to the base model. I don't actually know, what's the notch? I don't know what the notch is other than the Lord of Minecraft. <laughs> what, what is the notch? I even have, I even have not, well, I don't have an 11, I have the, the 10, and I don't know what the notch is, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, um, cool, I gotta look it up now, iPhone, the notch, what's the notch, I don't know what it is, why the notch is a good thing, the story of the notch, Notch doesn't even sound like a word to me anymore. iPhone 12 could see Apple drop the notch. Oh, is it the, is it the, is it that line at the top? What's the, what is it? I don't even know what the notch is. Is this a significant issue? I still don't know what the notch is. Does my iPhone have a notch? What is, I don't, okay. I'm, I don't know anymore. I don't know what the notch is and I still don't know what the notch is. I'm confused, help. Please help me, I don't know what the big deal is. All right. Tilted benches in a food court so customers would leave sooner. Literal a-hole design. <laughs> what is that? What kind of medieval torture device are these benches? I don't understand. Why would you make, who would make this table and be like, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sell this. I'm gonna create as unpleasant of a seating environment for people. Actually, the whole idea is it just gives you a quad workout the entire time so you can be burning more calories so that you can eat more food and feel less badly about it because you're in an all-you-can-eat cafeteria or something. But you gotta, mm, you gotta push back with the quads, dude. You gotta push back in order to be able to not fall off your bench while you're eating. <laughs> and then, it, yeah, I mean, as soon as you're done, you're not gonna want the quad workout anymore because you don't need to be sitting. So let's, let's go elsewhere, free up the seats for other people, I guess was trying avocados for the first time. Turns out some genius put a rock in it to make it look bigger. Okay, it's satirical. Everyone knows avocados have pits. Whatever, dude, moving along. I can't buy single-use plastic bags at the supermarket anymore, but companies get away with short like this. USB unifying receiver. <laughs> with gigantic mounds of plastic that will slice your finger into bits while you're trying to open it. Oh, I hate that packaging so much. I mean, obviously they do it so that it occupies the entirety of a display hanger space and they can brand it and stuff like that. It's all done like that for the sake of retail when so many things are not actually purchased at retail stores. They're like ordered on Amazon, but still you get this awful packaging that could instead be something that's say, and then you have to have larger packaging to ship the thing as a result when it could just be a tiny little box it's big enough at least to still not get lost but it's just like yep yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's yeah i feel like slowly but surely things are improving though in that regard so maybe on the bright side satire app store for you mobile ads when you touch 0. 0.0001 centimeter away from the center of the x button looks like you're going to the app store jimbo <laughs> i buy the Oh, a few things give me stress, like trying to X out of something on a touch screen. I'm like, I'm not gonna click the X, I'm gonna click something else. 
Please, I don't know where the center, where's the center of the X? Am I, is it in the center of the X or did they put it elsewhere and I'm about to click on the ad? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. This is the worst. It's so much stress. And then I inevitably end up clicking in the wrong spot. It's the worst thing. And the top for the last month. Thank goodness it's not satire. Can we all agree having to pay for a human necessity is a major a-hole design? Is this, oh, it's a bathroom. Huh. Okay. I mean, there's probably some argument in favor of, or, or to justify why this is happening here. I can't say that I have ever experienced a public toilet that required you to pay for it, but depending upon how expensive it is, like some of the public toilets I've been in are places where I've walked in and I've been like, you know what, on second thought, I can hold it. So if paying a small, small little fee made it so that all those public toilets were like pristine and well-maintained, I don't know, I feel like there's an argument to be made potentially and now everyone's gonna be like, all you ever do on this subreddit is play devil's advocate. But I don't know. This is one of those ones where maybe there's room for debate, but also I don't know how expensive, I don't know if, if the bathroom is still poorly maintained, that it would, it would have to be a pretty specific set of circumstances to where I, I think it would be justifiable. But still, I'll tell you what, if they have Charmin in there instead of that one ply sandpaper, sign me up, okay? <laughs> I don't skimp on my toilet paper, all right? I, I gotta have a pristine, blood-free butt. And if you can provide that for me, you know what? That's, maybe it'll make going in a public bathroom acceptable. Whatever, I'm sorry for playing devil's advocate sometimes. I apologize. Thanks for coming out to A-Hole Design. The last one was literally A-Hole Design related. And um, that, yep, make sure to check the playlist if you want to catch more A-Hole Design. Make sure to like if you were frustrated. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, feel free to have a debate in the comments section about paying for public restrooms. That is all. I'll see you next time.